final 10 minutes of the movie. There's an action sequence that continues to build. It's a brutal fight. The stunt guys have spent an awful lot of time perfecting the style and the look, and they keep adding these kicks for me, which are uh, great. It takes a lot of rehearsal, and you have to keep doing them all the time so you, your body remembers how they look. But you can't just fight shock, so we have to introduce somebody else, so it's two on two. And they had found an individual who is a massive man. His name is Kim, a former pro bodybuilder. He was a hell of an opponent. They bring in Kim, and it's like, God, it's going to be hard to beat that one. <laughs> Good luck. But when you have someone like Dwayne Johnson, it's very easy to work with him. And he has his own ideas about what he'd like to, to do as well. Vin is really precise on what he wants and knows exactly where he wants to bring his character, where he wants to bring the actions. I should probably get my foot to this side before I take the head. Yeah. And if you don't like a move, you can change. But if it feels good with the choreography, we are sure the fight would be good. Each move he did, you know, it's uh, an explosion. I think Fast and the Furious 6 is just Fast and the Furious 5 on steroids. <laughs> I really think that Justin took it to the next level of excitement. I enjoyed working with Olivier and his stunt team. We all went at it, and once again, good guys win.